Hey everybody, we've got another Euro-style nymph on the docket tonight with a, what I call the pinky blinder. It's uh, got some pink in it for highlights and kind of hot spot, and it's soft tackle, tied with soft tackle, so it's kind of the best of both worlds. So we're going to go ahead and start off with our hook, which is a Hannock 400 in a size 14. You can tie these uh, bigger or smaller if you want and uh, a 3.0 millimeter tungsten bead, but this is a light pink or metallic pink, <clears throat> actually light pink. And if you want, you can tie in some uh, lead or lead-free wire for extra weight, but uh, on this one, I'm not going to. I'm just gonna go all natural on the weight. <clears throat> but yeah, if you want them heftier, you can tie in that weight but we'll go ahead and start with our red thread and jam that bead up against the eye of the hook and I'm gonna work my way down here and tie in my tail which is some awesome pink colored Coke de Leon these come in tailing packs or you can get them in the combo packs if you want a whole or half a cape but at least a lot more than a tailing pack gives you but Tailing pack is a great option. So I'll take five or six fibers and we just want these to be about the body length off the end of the hook. So just like that. And then I'm going to tie in my wire, which is some gold ultra wire in a size small. It's going to be my ribbing. And in order to keep my taper there, you'll tie this right in front of the tail. And then we'll cover that whole thing up as we go. And then the underbody on this, because I got to have some bugs that are flashier than others. The underbody is going to be a red Vivas holographic tinsel in a medium. Same kind of thing here. We're just going to tie that right in in front of the tail. And then I'll just work my way up the body and this kind of wrap over everything and smooth it out. Relatively smooth, doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna wrap over it with tinsel anyway. And so this will be the first layer. And I'm just gonna take that all the way up there even though we'll wrap back over it in a minute. And then wrap the wire up. And then we'll just take that wire and bend it off. Apply our Loon UV Clear. Not a ton, just enough to kind of cover it and build that body up. I usually like to just grab a bodkin and smooth that out a little bit. And a little bit too much, you can kind of dab that with your finger or something. So you still have the ribbing. Torch it up. Notice that that tail pops. So this fly's got a lot going for it. Basically what I did on this one is I just kind of took a bunch of different patterns that I'd fished with and done well and I stole aspects and kind of created a Frankenstein version. And it does well, so uh, go figure. Okay, so we got, have two different colors of dubbing. The first one is Peacock Eye Stub, which if your flies don't have any eye stub, something's wrong. And Eye Stub is coarse. So I want to take a little bit of that with some dubbing wax 
And this is going to go kind of as we transition into the thorax, so we don't need a ton of it. Okay, we've got the peacock tied in there as best I can. Now I'm going to use my uh, put in my soft tackle, which is this Brahma hen wing. So you don't see a lot of soft tackles tied off of wings like this, but this stuff's great. Uh, it kind of has a partridge modeling to it, and it's gray. So this is awesome for uh, patterns you want, uh, you know, mayfly-ish looking wings and and that sort of thing. So it's a good it's a good option for partridge. And so I'll just find a piece that measures about the body length on my fibers there, like that. And then I want to trim off. You'll notice that the feather curves. I'm going to pull off the one as it curves that's away from me. So like this. So there's the curve. And I've torn that whole thing and all the fuzz. So then what I'll do is I'll just come back up in here next to the bead. And then trap that. And you just want to make sure that those fibers are facing back. So that when I wrap this they they lie back over themselves, or back over the body. So two wraps there, and then I'm going to come in front of this stem and do a couple of locking wraps. I usually don't tie or uh, cut this off until I'm done wrapping. It helps hold it in. Now you need some good high pliers. These CNF ones cost a little more, but they are the bomb. Uh, we'll just grab this, and we'll start on top and do probably one and a half to two wraps. And there's one wrap. And we're keeping this basically behind the eye with a little bit of space, or behind the bead. And then there's a half. So one and a half wraps. Tie that off and cut everything. So that's a bit messy. We can do our little soft hackle printing trick. Thumb and forefinger. Come back here, build that up. And that, those will lay back nicely against the rest of the body. So that's exactly what you want there. The length looks perfect down to the bend of the hook. And now we're just gonna tie in or put in a little more secret weapon. This uh, pattern has a lot of Lance Egan influence. UV shrimp pink. Wouldn't get caught dead fishing without some UV shrimp pink. And this is a tiny, tiny bit. So I'll just put in some dubbing right there in front of the wing fibers. It helps tame them a bit. You're only going to get one, maybe two wraps. And then I'll kind of preen this back and then throw in some wraps for a red little Frenchy-ish hot spot and whip finish. And that, my friends, is the Pinky Blinder. If you've watched the show Pinky Blinders, you know that this fly is deadly. And it's from the late 1800s, early 1900s. Um, anyway, awesome Euro style. You can fish it as a dropper. I've just used it on a Euro rig and it scores the fish. So if you want to tie this, there should be a link down in the description that will give you the whole material list. You can buy all the materials from our store, easy peasy, on your phone or on your other internet enabled device. The end.